Hi, uh, my name's Donna. I have spent the last 20 years or so as a TAFE teacher. Have decided to get out for a bit, take my super, which I needed to purchase this wonderful product. <laughs> uh, it is a wonderful product. It's well worth the, um, the Outback Series um, integrated rooftop tent and tub topper. Got the car first, had a Toyota canopy on it, fiberglass, then decided that I wanted to do a bit of travel and I, I travel solo. And the first problem that I came up against was that obviously the fiberglass canopy from Toyota wasn't going to be able to support the rooftop tent that I wanted. Now I wanted the rooftop tent because I don't want to tow, I don't want to back. If I see somewhere that I want to stop, I want to stop and be able to um, go in and, and have a look. I needed something that was easy to open for me. And this is wonderful, two clips and a couple of gas struts and up it goes. And I needed something that was um, robust and well made. Uh, I did a lot of research. I had a look at a lot of, of the articles about the soft top as opposed to the hard top, uh, obviously. Hard top is, um, is, in my opinion, um, the best option, uh, particularly for me. Once I'd located the, uh, the best type of rooftop tent, um, I found Camp King through uh, the website actually, had a look at some great videos on that and thought, oh, that looks so nice. <laughs> then had to organise getting my Toyota canopy gone. Um, I spent, uh, I had a lot of conversations with Sarah from um, Camp King who did wonderfully well um, explaining uh, the products to me. Obviously um, I also went with the 270 degree awning. Best part about this is that I unzip it, hang on to one end, walk around and click it. So there's no poles, uh, certainly when it gets really, really windy I can um, peg it down. So. Um, very, very happy with that. If I wanted to stop because I'm tired, up goes the tent, out comes the awning. My little kitchen here is relatively easy to, uh, to set up. It's all just packed in the back. The drawers are amazing. My full kitchen like I would have at home. Um, I have always got um, my condiments, my spices, my sauces, all of that sort of stuff. The fridge is always in the back. My wonderful auto electrician hardwired in um, the fridge, um, some lights into the awning um, and some lights into um, the back of the, um, the tub topper. So for me, there's no stress, no mess. I, I can pull up, I can set up, I can pack up very quickly. When I'm going for a period of time and I have my hangers on as, um, as in my children, uh, I'm able to uh, put obviously sea gear floors down. I've got um, gazebo with hubs, I've got a little tent. Um, so I can set up to, um, to bring them with me if, uh, if I need to. So overall, the Outback series, the awning, the drawers, the fridge slide, which is wonderful, it's it's so convenient. Um, the angle just goes straight up. The awning doors on the awning are so tall that I'm able to open my angle without it hitting anything, which is uh, what it used to do with the uh, with the Toyota canopy. So very very happy with with the tub topper as well. I'm always getting lots of lots of people wandering past, um, wanting to know where the product is from, particularly um, when they see a single person of my gender and age, um, able to manage to put it up um, and set it up quite quite easily. Oh, the other thing um, that I did purchase that obviously um, isn't up yet um, were the sides for the, so the walls for the, the canopy, uh, sorry, the, um, the awning. I have used them, uh, I went up to Nisa North Shore and used them up there. Um, obviously you're on the beach, you get a bit of gale force winds and gusts coming through and rain coming through. Uh, did really, really well with the rain. Uh, so it was nice and enclosed, was able to, um, to cook and uh, not, to get, uh, not to get too wet. So yeah, I just need to decide where I'm going and what I need to pack. The last thing that I purchased uh, just very recently, haven't got it set up yet, is the little roof rack that goes on the front of the Outback um, series. Once I purchased it initially, um, I did a lot of research looking for a roof rack to go on the front of 
of my, my cab because I don't know that it's terribly legal to put a gas bottle in, in the back as it's enclosed. So I spent a lot of time looking around, couldn't find anything that I liked. And then again, my wonderful Camping Industries friend emailed me to say that um, there's been a lot of uh, research and development on the roof rack for the Outback series. And it's just amazing, it's wonderful. So I can't wait to find the little gas fitting to put my gas bottle up there and put a couple of um, light boxes on to take um, to take some of the stuff out of the, the back of the Hilux. So overall, very happy with everything that, um, that I've purchased with Camp King. As I said, it'll be here a lot longer than uh, probably I will and then the kids will be fighting over it. My past, I suppose, camping experience um, from my teenage years, my partner who later became my husband and my father actually, uh, we used to um, go camping at Double Island Point nearly every weekend and this was 40 years ago, um, way before the Cherry Venture was even washed up and then disintegrated and gone. My history with, I suppose, camping uh, and four-wheel driving has always been beach. Back in the day it was the old canvas tent um, that took quite a bit of time to put up between my partner, myself and my father. Uh, then my partner and myself then started camping on our own and again the tent option, um, the fights, the interesting conversations that you have when you're trying to put up a tent in the heat uh, on a sand dune on, in the beach. We moved from the, uh, the, the canvas tent into a camper trailer. Um, camper trailer was a, a, a lot better option Obviously, uh, you can have your bed in there, all set up. Um, we'd get home from camping, I'd wash everything, repack it, and clean up the, the tent and put it away so that it's ready for next time. So, camper trailer went really well for, um, for ages. Um, we tended to use a big tarp over it so that it never really got, got wet or, or too dirty or what, uh, whatever, so that we could um, come and go as we pleased. Then unfortunately um, my husband passed so I spent probably a decade wondering how I was going to get back into camping again, focused on the kids and the grandkids and all of that sort of stuff and then came to, to the point where I now needed to get back out and do some camping for myself. The best option for me um, was the rooftop tent because I didn't want to be pulling um, the camper trailer anymore. The kids are using the camper trailer and I now, when they're camping, can just pull up and open everything up very quickly and sit back and have a beer and watch them fighting over putting up the camper trailer and the tarp and everything else that goes with it. So I'm very happy with the ease uh, that this product provides me to um, observe <laughs> what used to happen <laughs> between um, my husband and myself. As far as the rooftop tent's concerned, um, I think uh, I was happy with it being similar to uh, a camper trailer in that uh, I can make the bed up. So it can be a proper bed, it's, it's got its mattress topper, it's got all my nice bamboo sheets, it's got my nice doona and it's all in there like I was at home. Uh, it's to me it kind of reminds me of um, a cubby house because I can climb up and I can look out at the world and it's it's a wonderful wonderful feeling. Um, I do leave um, my bed uh, all made up so that it's easier to um, to uh, be set up when when I, I get to wherever I'm going as far as camping. The other thing I like about the, um, the rooftop tent is the um, 12 volt and the USB ports. I like to do a lot of reading um, or listening to audiobooks, uh, obviously using the iPad so I'm able to plug it in and um, keep it charged while I'm um, doing any of my uh, reading or or listening to audiobooks. With regard to the awning, one of the best features I find of the awning is that it's easy to unzip, to walk around and to uh, clip onto the other side of the vehicle and um, 
do the tension. It is freestanding, it doesn't require poles, it's really, really thick um, non-tear canvas. Um, the best um, option with all of these products is that it's Australian made. Um, when I was looking at purchasing um, any of the products that, um, that I was going to use for my solo camping, I was quite interested in sticking to um, Australian made if I could find it. Um, and I, I just lucked upon uh, the Camp King Industries website, which to me um, demonstrated the best um, of Australia. My background as a TAFE teacher, I've spent the last 10 years working with the trade arm of TAFE, where tradesmen come in uh, off the tools and transfer all of their wonderful knowledge to the upcoming apprentices. And the fact that this product has been built by and designed uh, by a tradesman, an Australian tradesman, um, blew me away. So that was one of the, um, the major selling points, I think, to the product, that it is um, so well made. Uh, it's so well designed. It's been tested out by a couple of Aussies who have been out there camping, like my, like my husband and I did. So um, I have a lot of faith in the fact that it's been designed um, to support Aussies in, in their love of the great outdoors.